All right, so next up we got Orcs as our range review, going over the models and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. They're old, they're new, whatever. Um, we're just going to go down the line. Um, I will preface this by saying Orcs are my favorite army in the entire game. I adore almost all the models. I love building them and painting them and playing with them. So I am very biased <laughs> towards this particular army. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. So starting off, we're going to go with the Weird Boy. So this is a pretty old model from what I remember. I believe he's resin. It, it, there's not much to say about this. Like it's it's wacky. It's weird which is very orc, like his weird like spirally eye and his like metal teeth and just crazy stuff, like red claws, like just weird. Um, it's not, it's not terrible. I think it could use some, some stuff, some kit bashing. And that's a big thing with a lot of these orc kits you got to keep in mind is that everything here is interchangeable. And I always make the joke that any kit released is an orc release. Because orcs can take anything and make it theirs, basically. So e even bad models you can improve on or take bits out of and put in other things. So they're not... Every kit kind of has some value sometimes. So for this particular guy... You know, it's okay. Like, this bell is weird. The, the main thing, I think, is the chains. The chains just feel very, like... Like, angular... And, and, like, this skull is just, like, chuk, 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 chuk. like, it's very precise, which instead of, like, flowy and swirly, it's, like, all one plane and just, like, a zigzag. And I'm sure that's just because this is an older model and all that, but, like, I like this head. I like this staff. I think there's bits of this that you could definitely turn into something else. All right, Captain Badrock. So this is the Freebooters cap, uh, Pirate Captain King. Uh, this model's great, but there's so much going on. Like, this model will just take an eternity to paint. Um, I don't have one of these guys, but he's cool. I mean, you could also use him as, like, a generic war boss as well, I guess. Um, I, I mean, I love the pirate hat. It's just so ridiculous. Like, everything about this is ridiculous. His, his loincloth is a treasure map. Like, he's standing on a chest full of orc teeth as money. He's got a big feather. Like, it's just, it's great. Like, you can't not like this model. It's a little bit old, and it's a little bit boring in how it's static, but, like, it's just so wacky and weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like Badrock. He's a cool model. Um, I like his trophy banner thing, too. So next coming up is Zagstruck. So, Zagstruck is the leader of the Blood Axes, I believe? Maybe he's not the leader. I think he's just... He's like a captain of all the Storm Boys, who's got his legs ripped off or crushed by a tank or something like that. So he's got these, like, crazy robot legs. And this model actually holds up pretty well. Even in person, he's still pretty good. He looks a little bit short because his legs are chopped off and kind of crunched up. And this belt is so high on his body that it looks like his waist is actually up here when it's it's not. It's down here. But it's okay. His pistol's a little bit dinky. Um, but I like his hat. <laughs> his sort of like World War II German officer's hat or whatever. And this, this just crazy like knife sword thing. Like he looks scary, and that in in the lore and stuff, like he's a drill sergeant, scary orc. And so it's like, okay, I I believe you, <laughs> I believe that he's scary and will rip you apart with his legs and with this this sword thing. So yeah, Zagstruck's okay. Boss Snickrot. This is possibly the best model in all of Games Workshop's models, in my opinion. This model is so epic. It's so good. Like, it's just perfect for the lore. It's got just enough, like, orc silliness to it. 
and sort of pop culture references with like the Sam Fisher goggles from Splinter Cell and all this stuff. But it's got these like chains. He's making a shh, like be quiet. I'm sneaking around. Oh, it's just so good. It's just, it's perfect for Snickrot. Like this is exactly what he is. And these knives are just so gnarly looking. Yeah, like he's it's ugh, it's so good. And this paint job's pretty good, but like I've seen this painted so many different ways, and every way it's just like that's Snickrot. Like every way you paint him. It's uh this model is so good. There's like nothing bad about it to me. The only thing that is bad is maybe like these skulls look kind of cartoony and old. But other than that, it's just it's so it's so goofy and like orky, but also so savage and scary. And he's a sneaky boy. He's gonna stab you. I just, ugh, I just I love this model. I don't have one because I don't play blood axes and don't really use commandos. But my friend does, and it's such a great model. All right, uh, this is the Orc War Boss with Big Choppa. I'm not even really gonna go on this because I will go on a weird rant later about this he's fine he's in resin whatever he's got the twin shotguns that's pretty cool his head is giant and i kind of like that all right another one of my favorite models ever the big mech with shock attack gun this is maybe my favorite weapon in all of warhammer 40,000 because it is so ludicrous like it is the most insane weapon it's like, oh, you know, most weapons are like, oh, this is a giant flamethrower. Like, this is a heat wave cannon or whatever. This literally is like a giant vacuum cleaner that sucks up goblins, converts them into warp energy, then shoots the goblin out of it as like a giant laser beam that has random properties that can make like warp rifts in reality and destroy anything. Like, it's, it's the weirdest gun ever. And it's so orky, and I love it. Like, just look... Like, just look at this model. Like, this is Orcs, the model. <laughs> it's... So, like, this gun is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's so big. And strapped, and just has, like, turbines, and uh, suction hoses, and, and cables, and just craziness everywhere. And this one in particular has the sort of lightning bolts. I have the older version of this model where it doesn't have the lightning bolts and a different head. But I, I almost like, I think I like this one more. And I have one waiting to be painted as well. Like, this is the face of an utter maniac. <laughs> like, just a mad scientist off the rails that made this. Like, what even is this? I, it's, I love it. It's so it's so great. Uh, I love I love the shock attack gun. Oof, another one of my favorite models. So this is the Death Killer War Trike. And this guy is usually my warlord in my army. I have like a Mad Max style orc army because I just I love these crazy vehicles and stuff and it's very different from a lot of uh a lot of other armies this i think is is one of the big reasons that people will play orcs is because of the crazy vehicles and this is like the leader it's a war boss on this crazy motorcycle trike chariot of murder like it's it's so great it's got these like buzzsaw like chariot wheels this double tire in the front two shotguns on each side and then I love this guy this little goblin on the back with the gasoline pouring the like special fuel into the rocket booster to make him go faster it's so great and this guy like as a motorcycle like biker gang guy with a shotgun and then the war boss like it's pretty good like he's pretty good this claw is good he looks really neat with this like biker leather vest and the the jaw and like this metal face that he's got stuck on. This is a really cool model too. I had a, I had a ton of fun painting this model. Highly recommend. All right, 
so this is where I'll go off on my war boss rant. So this is Gruck's mob. So ignore these guys. These are knobs. We'll get to them later. This is Gruck. He's a war boss. Hooray for him. This is the only plastic war boss available. And the only way you can get him is to buy a $50 pack that gives you knobs. Now, if you're starting an orc army, I would highly recommend you buy this kit. The knob kit, which I'll get to later, is amazing. It's a great kit. It comes with tons of stuff. And this model is really cool. But if you want another war boss with power claw, you have to either convert one from a knob, which is totally doable, or buy one off of eBay separate, or buy like the old Black Reach one off eBay, or convert that kind of crummy resin one from before into what you want. And that's that's just so dumb to me. Like another like I don't really mind because like part of the fun of orcs is making your own characters like anybody can be anybody with the right bits but it's dumb especially considering that you get gruck on his own sprue like just sell the sprue just sell this for 35 dollars and everyone will buy it it's fine like, yeah, it's a good deal for 50 bucks, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks on a war boss. I want to spend $35 on a war boss. So, I don't know. That's just one thing that, that bothers me. But I love this model. He's sitting on my paint desk right now. I've got another... I've got two other war bosses built already and painted, but this guy's next. He's so cool. He's so crazy. Like, just giant mouth with giant teeth. This ridiculous saw, like, claw hand of murder you know you can convert this weapon into anything like i chopped the rockets off and gave him a bigger barrel to make it like a mg42 from world war ii he's got the double shotguns on his back grenades like he's he's really cool and he comes with a squig and the more squigs in your life the better because squigs are great and hilarious so i really like this model the only thing that's dumb is that you can't buy him on his own and then lastly, we got the Big Mech in Mega Armor. There's also the standard Big Mech. They don't sell one anymore, but you can use him as like a Big Mech with Custom Force Field. That's not in Mega Armor. And for that, you I luckily enough have two of them from way back in the day. You'd either have to eBay them or you just, you just convert your own. Like you can take the bits off of this and put it on a generic guy. And when you buy this kit, it's the Mega Knobs kit. So you can make three Mega Knobs... Or you can make one of them a big mech. Like, you can take this thing and put it on a regular boy and, like, hey, there you go. So that's kind of a nice thing with orc kits is you – if there's one you don't particularly have access to, you can kind of kit bash it from whatever you want. Um, I mean, this is a cool kit. Like, the mega armor is a little bit chunky and old-looking, but, like, that's kind of how orcs are. It's like, oh, Terminators are kind of, like, big and chunky, but they've got some elegance to them. These are just, like – more just put armor on everything and walk around like a big stompy man um i like this thing this technically isn't a custom force field it's like a teleport blaster or something but it's like whatever it's an orc generic thing it's pretty cool um i like this face mask this like welding mask i used this to convert a war boss so he's got like a crazy big like axe with a squig jumping off of it and he's got this like welding mask on um so that's like the cool thing is you can see anything from any kit and put it on any other kit and it pretty much makes sense. So Mad Doc Grotznik, he's a pain boy. This model's just really dang old. Like he's got, I mean he's creepy and weird. He's like Frankenstein orc. He's all stitched together. Got this like horrendous saw thing, a syringe, pistol, and like a metal arm. But I don't know. He's just really old. Like, you could probably convert this just as well and actually give him more character. Orc Knob with Wah Banner. This model is really cool, actually. I sort of forgot about it. Because I just converted my own, and I've seen tons of people convert their own Wah Banners. But... He's, he's actually really solid. Like, he's got a nice pose running forward. Cool little details, like the scabbard and stuff. The gun is really interesting and unique, where it's got, like, a magazine on top and bottom and looks very scrap-built. 
his face is really scary with the big top knot and stuff. And this big, like, robot hand is something... It's a power claw, but it's more like a hand. It's like a power fist. You don't see that anywhere else in the orc range. It makes this guy really cool, actually. I might, I might buy one just, just because he's neat. Like, and you could make this guy a war boss easily. War boss with power claw, like a hundred percent. So yeah, this is like one of those sleeper, cool models that I I totally forgot existed, and then was like, oh, this guy's awesome. All right, the orc mech, um, he's okay. The one thing I don't like is that he's $25. You can probably just convert a guy like this with some spare bits. He won't look as nice and like have all the wrenches and bolts and stuff, but you can basically make this just out of any boy or like a Luda or a spanner that comes in the Luda boys kit, like which is what I use, and nobody will care. So this guy kind of just... If you really, really want this particular look, then pay that 25 Otherwise, like, you can pretty much just make one for free with the rest of your parts. So this is also one of my favorite models, the Pain Boy. So he's just so creepy and weird. He's got you know, his, like, surgical power claw, which counts as a power claw in the game. But it's got, like, syringes and blades and scalpels and stuff. He's got this weird robot eye and this, like, creepy smile. Um, and then he's, yeah, he's got these, like, tubes of weird, weird stuff. Like, he's just so creepy and, and, and weird. And I love that about orcs is that it's, like, everything they have is, like, this evil genius version of that. Um, this, like, syringe gun's weird. Like, even his leg is a pig leg, but it's, like, a pair of scissors. It's just so weird. He's great. I, I try and bring him whenever I can because he's just so fun. And I love this little goblin. He's just like, hey, 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 trying to, like, inject you. All right, Orc Knobs. This is an amazing kit. If you're thinking about starting Orcs, buy this kit. Um, whether you use them as, like, knobs in your boys' squads or you actually use them as knobs, which I think are both good choices, this kit has tons of great arms, really unique faces. It's got, like... I feel like it, for five knobs, you get, like, nine or ten heads. Um, lots of different gun customization options, arm, like, arms, banners, just lots of stuff. Like, you buy this kit, and you can convert so many generic things into really exceptionally cool things. You know, this kit plus, you can make a knob into a war boss with enough stuff. Like, it's just so good. And it has maybe my favorite orc piece, which is this squig on the banner with a mohawk. Like, I love this. This is why I play orcs. One of them. The more squigs in your life, the better. Tank busters, on the other hand, are very old and very expensive. They're $45 for five guys, and they're not particularly great, and they're old resin. Uh, it's a big reason why I don't have them. They're cool and wacky and weird, like with these rocket, like rocket launcher tube things and rocket pistols and the tank hammer, which is just like a missile on a stick. <laughs> which I don't know how this guy survives, but that's not really important. You know, this guy like eating a missile. Like <laughs> it's it's silly and fun and orc. It's just so old. And this this squig is is hilarious, but like looks kind of dire and silly same with this one so i don't know i don't i don't love this kit I, most people i know that use them they make them out of parts and bits from other kits and just use like generic orc boys and it looks fine if these were like thirty dollars maybe but nah all right no work commandos I love these models too. I don't have them because it's just not the way I play my orcs, but my friend does, and they're great. They've got a lot of character. They are they look great surrounding Snickrot, who, as we know, is an amazing model. Um, yeah, they've got some cool stuff. Like I like this dynamite kind of improvised grenade. I like these like ski mask 
orc covers like they're trying to be sneaky but they're orcs so they really aren't <laughs> um this gas mask one is kind of creepy but i think the sergeant is or the knob in charge is the best this claw and he's got a big cigar and he's kind of looking over like oh we're gonna get him it, this guy's just really cool i really like this um it, it they've all got their own little personality yeah, this is a good kit. All right, so troops, you get two options. And it's going to be like half your army are these two two options. Gretchen, hooray. You get 10 grots and a runt herd for 18 bucks. Like, they're pretty cheap, which is good because you need a lot of them because they're, I think, the least expensive thing in the game. They're three points a model, which is ridiculous. Um, these are the unsung heroes of the Orc Codex in terms of, like, military, like, actually playing the game. Um, they're amazing at objectives holders. They can hide and just be annoying. There's a lot of cool little tactics and fun things you can do with them, all based on the semblance of, like, they're going to die, <laughs> and you don't care. Um, yeah, they're just, they're funny. I like them. We'll come back to the run herd. Like, uh, I love these guys. Like, the little grot captain sergeant with his weird gun. This guy with just the derpiest face ever. Like, what is that face? <laughs> they're just, they're funny. They have so much little personality to them. And you can convert them with other from other you know goblins and stuff you find like runt herds and all sorts of stuff and just or not runt herds um ammo runts and all sorts of stuff and just you can use them for or for lots of different little things um this guy the runt herd i pretty much never ever take in game but he's just like this grumpy old man orc and has a lot of fun personality and i've turned these guys into a lot of different things so this guy got turned into my wa banner and i've used this squig for other models to be like running on them or jumping off a base or something swapping out the head is easy putting armor plates on him is easy he's got this big belly i don't know he's just he's a fun little guy and you can convert him into like so many things he's become He's become a, a knob in a squad. He's become a weird boy for certain people. He's become a banner carrier. He's become, you know, you can make an objective marker even. Like, you can turn him into anything. And then we got the boys. This is the backbone of any orc army. Um, this kid is very old. But it still kind of works. The only thing I don't like is this particular pose on this guy. Let me see if I can find a better version of it. This pose is a little bit weird because he's so far forward and his butt is like sticking out. Like I know that they're not human and they're kind of hunched and whatever, but this looks like he's like a gorilla or something. <laughs> um, it's okay. The kit is very basic it's like torsos heads and then you glue the arms on you can see that it's just like a flat thing there's nothing sculpted so it's an older kit but it's got options you know it got it's got lots of options lots of bits you can add bits from other kits to it really easily you know it, it's it's okay and you're gonna be if you're playing orcs like you're a hundred percent gonna be using this kit like a couple of them comes with some heavy weapons and stuff and 35 bucks, it gives you 10 boys and a knob. It's okay. The Gorgonaut. So this is like their biggest walker that's not a Stampa. Um, and the more that I look at this model and look at its rules and everything, I need one of these. Like, this is my next big orc purchase is going to be a Gorgonaut, I think. Maybe a Morganaut, but I'm not sure. Um, I love this Gatling cannon. It's just so ridiculous. Like, it, this model's so silly. It's like a big fat orc robot that can carry guys inside of it, and it's just covered in guns. Like, it, like the arm has a guy controlling it. 
it's just it's so silly and i love this is why like this is why you play orcs is for models like this you can convert this you can paint this so many different ways add so many things to it it's it's uh it's so good like i just love orcs so much like uh, and this giant like exhaust thing on the side it's just it's great and it, it works when you, we get to the Death Dread. You'll see that, like, the Death Dread is like a little version of this. There's lots of little things that are similar, like the barrel, these, the, the vents. It's just reconfigured and smaller. So the Morkonaut is the alternate version of the Gorkonaut. If the Gorkonaut is like a war boss, this is like a Big Mac. So it can have a custom force field. It has slightly different weapons. Um, and a little bit of a different feel to it in the sense that, like, it's got a little bit more technology going on as opposed to, like, just a big stompy robot. Um, like, it doesn't have the guy gunning it. It's, you know, powered like a robot would be. But otherwise, it's basically the same model. Um, it's also cool. You can open, uh, you can open up the, the belly you know goblins or whatever in there which is a fun little display thing you know you can have guys riding it whatever yeah it's just it's a great big canvas of fun things so now we'll go back to flash kits this is an amazing kit i don't have it just because i don't need flash kits for my army but i'm i'm very tempted and it's kind of expensive it's 55 dollars, and so for something i'm not gonna really use much i haven't bought one yet but i've seen them they're great. There's, they're borderline too much. Like flash kits are supposed to be absurd and ridiculous in their guns, which is, I mean, it's like a triple barrel machine gun with like laser energy, like triple barrel rotary cannon with another cannon with shotgun shells, like it, ridiculous, insane stuff. And I love that about this. It's very orky, but they're almost too much going on to me where it can sort of be hard to distinguish some of the details because there's just so much crap everywhere. Um, I love this guy, this targeting squig with like a bullseye eyeball so that he can help aim. That's hilarious. Like, I love stuff like that. Again, the more squigs in your life, the better. But yeah, I, I would use these instead of Ludas probably or mix them in with Ludas and just count them as Ludas. Um, if you're not going to use them as flash kits and you're not using uh, freebooters. So, the battle wagon. I have four of these because of my Mad Max orcs. I think this is a really good kit. It's a little expensive, $75, but you get a ton of stuff. And I really like the feel of this kit. It's got this kind of old like German half-track look to it, but it's even beefier and kind of looks like the, the battle wagon from Mad Max or something like that. Um, it's got a lot of different options. All of these turrets and things can be put on different places. So you can, even though they're going to have the same chassis generally, they're going to be able to be customized to look a little bit different. And plus with the paint, you know, paint scheme, like all mine are painted differently. But they still work together. Um, you can add the def roller kit. I don't use the def roller kit. I just converted. I put like big tusks out of one. I put like an energy wire field coming out of one. Um, one of them's just got this ram, and then one of them has like a ram with a bunch of Mad Max decorations and stuff on it. I've got like guys here like jumping off with bombs. I've got you know big shoot guys holding shooters shooting out of it and stuff you can you can really add a lot it's a big canvas again to put stuff on um and a lot of things like the big claw let me see where's that claw like the big claw you know it's like this screams to just be put on like a death dread or something else so there's and like i've turned these turrets into mech guns which we'll get to later and like I don't know. I, I really like this kit. There's a lot of options. 
the one thing, and it's common with all orc people, is that it's like you never want two vehicles to look exactly the same. And this gives you a lot of options, but when you've got four of them all together, you're like, okay, they're kind of four of the same thing. You can easily buy like this kit and a Land Raider and make two battle wagons out of it, and they'll look like this weird hybrid mashup of stuff. So this is a really fun kit bashing orc kit. I believe Burna Boys are actually elites, but it's fine. Um, Burna Boys and Ludas come in the same kit, so you can either make them into Burnas or Ludas. I think the Burnas look better, um, but they're not as good, so, uh, you know, whatever. They've each got their own little personality, like this guy's got tusks, this guy's got thing. You know, you can switch out these. I like their different heads. I particularly like this guy with the bandana and the goggles, and I love this guy with the cigar. And his face shield, if you flip it down, it has a little hole cut out for his cigar to go in. And, like, little things like that are, like, a reason you buy this kit. You're like, oh, well, that's hilarious. I have to have that guy. Um, and see, like, this. This is the spanner. This is, like, the leader of this group of guy of orcs. And, like, you could... This guy could just be a mech. Like, he could be a mech boy. No problem. And you don't have to buy him for $25 separately. So... All right, and then Ludas. So this is the other half of the kit. Ludas. I don't have Ludas just because they're like, oh, everyone brings Ludas because they're good. It's like, yes, they're good. And they don't really go with how I like to play my orcs, being Mad Max vehicles, everybody like driving around. And the guns, they're okay. Like, they're kind of weird. They're like these harnesses that they wear. I feel like they want to be flash kits. Like, that's that's what they want to be. Um, the only thing with them is you're going to take a lot of them. So, I guess them being a little more simple is nice, but, yeah, they're just kind of stuck in this, like, crouching pose with this, like, a harness thing. They don't have a lot of character to them, I guess. I don't know. I mean, they do. Like, I like this face. And the guns are different, but, eh. I'm not nuts about the Luda's kit. All right, so we're going to just go through the mech guns. I'm just going to show you one. <sighs> this kit. I love this kit, but I hate this kit. <laughs> so I love this kit because of what it is. The mech gun is great. The goblins are hilarious. With all these different things, the like goggles and the and the hose and like who knows what and it gives you you know weapon options to make them but fifty dollars is so much money for one of these and it'd be one thing if this model was like oh you need like two you're like okay well that's a lot i mean i'm getting five goblins okay Let's say that's 10 bucks, so this thing is 40. That's still kind of a lot for what it is. Like, you get lots of bits and stuff. The other thing is, it's like, you're not taking one of one or two. Like, if you're going to take mech guns, you're taking, like, six. Which is $300 of just these and goblins. And it's just like, ugh. The one thing I would say about this kit is that you could buy one and probably make a few out of this kit with some creativity and some parts from like a battle wagon or a truck or something else you've bought. So like I use the turrets from my battle wagons that I don't really use and you know put them on the ground and put different weapons and weird stuff and convert them to make mech guns because I sort of refuse to pay $50 for a model that costs like 36 points. So it's like more than a dollar a point, which is ridiculous. Killicans, yay! So these are the goblin versions of a Death Dread, which we'll get to later, just right after this. So these are little, they're a lot smaller than they actually think they are. Um, you're like, oh, they're big dreadnoughts. Like, no, they're goblins. Like, a space marine is basically as tall as them. 
and they're they're I don't know they're fun they're wacky they're like got little goblin dreadnought squatty squat bodies and they're fun they're a cool kit I don't have this kit just because I don't I'd rather just run death dreads or morcanauts and things but they're hilarious the death dread this to me is one of the most iconic orc things and is honestly one of the most fun kits to build I I love this kit. It has different faces. It's got different weapon options. I like this face because it's just like weird robot face. I love the like big smoke stacks and let's see if I get a 360. Yeah. Okay, I love the big the big smoke stacks and the barrel and the lights. And he's got these big like claws. He's he, it's just oh it's such a cool kit. It's really fun to build and paint too. I only, I've only bought one of this kit. I have two of the old metal ones and kind of didn't need more for my army, but I might buy another one. Oh, they're just, they're so fun. You can do so much with them. And they give you lots of bits to convert into other things or add to other things, which is great. You've got, you know, different claws, saws, guns, faces, tusks, all sorts of stuff. This is a great kit. I think every orc player needs to buy and build and paint one of these. Storm boys, they're okay, actually. Um, I feel like you could convert, you could use some of the bits in this and some of the bits from a boys kit and maybe kit bash some jet packs. I don't think you need to buy like tons of these guys to make a big blob because it's five for $30 and you're probably gonna run a pack of at least 20 of these so like that's a lot of money for guys that are basically just boys with jetpacks they look a lot nicer than boys i think they've got a lot more personality to them and different weapons and stuff but i think you you get boys you find a way to convert them and you sprinkle these guys in you know like i like this jetpack i love the goblin in the jetpack like that's really cool i like this helmet i like this guy with like an aeronautical <laughs> like crazy flight hat thing yeah they're they're okay like you know crazy orc rockets and then he's got like little rocket boosters on his feet and stuff like yeah, you know they're cool i like them but... ugh def coptas okay so this is the old def copta from way back in the day it's terrible it does not fit very much i know some people like it cuz it's just so like ludicrous and stupid but there becomes a point where it's, like, stupid in a fun, cool way versus just, like, just stupid. And I think this model is just stupid. Um, it Like, it doesn't have a side. The blades are, like, gonna definitely cut his head off or his hand or whatever. It just, I don't know. It's just bad and old. And for whatever reason, you can't buy the Attack on Blackreach model which is actually really good which is like a, a jet bike almost with a helicopter blade and that one looks really cool but you can't get it um or war biker mob this is okay um i like the orc bikes they're cool i don't have these just because i my space my dark angels army i use a lot of bikes and i don't want another bike army um they're okay they've got some wacky faces the asymmetrical like gun on one side barrel on the other weird guns weird weapons it, it it's very orky and it's very mad max and i like it but they're kind of expensive 41 25 and how many does that get you i think it only gets you three yeah three bikers for 42 dollars like uh that's a lot especially because you're probably bringing these in like a mob of 10 at least so, uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. But again, a really great kit with lots of little details like this guy riding this thing and this weird weapons. And, you know, you buy one of these kits and you maybe intersperse them with some boys and you don't actually use them as bikers. You just have the bits for other stuff. Oh, yes. Now we've arrived at my favorite orc models. So these are all the buggies. The Boom Daka Snazwagon. 
So this is a very Mad Max orc vehicle. I love, I love this model. I don't have one yet, um, because I've just bought more of the other ones. But I love this model. It's just so, it's so crazy. Like this giant engine with the blower thing, the like intake thing, the firebomb guys, this like crazy gun. The grot strapped to the front is an ode to Mad Max, like Fury Road. It, it, it's so good. This goblin like shooting you as he drives by. It's just so fun. And at first it, it was weird to me because I was like, oh, the goblin is driving. But then I remembered like, no, this is a British company. <laughs> the driver is actually on the right side, which is is wrong, but that's fine. Um. So yeah, this is this is a cool model. I really like these. And you can paint it so many. And this one works for almost all of the clans, I feel. Like, it makes sense for all of them. Shock Jump Dragster. I really love this model. Um, it's just so ridiculous. Like, it, it's a race... It's an orc race car that they fight with. Like, it's so dumb, but it's perfect. Like, it's got the scoop with this, like, mulcher thing on the front. The big, like dragster wheel like indy 500 tires but they've got spikes on them and then this crazy this zap gun which is actually pretty good in the game um you know this this gun that's just like this crazy rifle that they've made that the goblin fires that the squig is connected to to help it aim better it's just ridiculous. And then it's got this crazy engine that looks like the shock attack gun on the back. And it's it literally like back to the future teleports around. Like if it goes too fast, it disappears and then reappears somewhere later. It's it's so silly. And it's perfect and I love it. Alright, custom booster blaster. This is the other one that I don't have yet. Um I really like it though. It looks really cool. It looks super, like, old-fashioned kind of dragster car with this giant rivet cannon and stuff. I think it's... It's the most generic of all of them. Um, but not in a bad way. Like, they all have their own flavor. This feels the most, like, classic orc vehicle to me. Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. You can see all the gears working in the back. It's got, like, double-stacked tires. I love little things, too, like this, like the goblin hanging on. It just makes them so wacky and crazy. And just, like, like these are just maniacs. <laughs> like, <laughs> these are just speed freak, crazy maniacs flying off ramps, shooting you with rivets, and then exploding in a ball of fire like it's just it's great and then the scrap jet this i have two of these because they're really good and i think they're cool but i would say this is like this is probably my least favorite of all the buggies um they're cooler in person there are a couple things i don't like about them but there are a couple things i really do like about them so conceptually this car is supposed to be a DACA jet and a DACA jet pilot who crashed and then was like, oh, well, my plane can't fly, so I'll turn it into a car. And that, conceptually to me, is hilarious, and I love that. And the torso part, or the main body, like, resembles that a lot, but I don't like the little dinky wings. I feel like it either needs big wings to be, like, a plane with wheels or get rid of those and add something else. That's my one thing I don't like but other than that it literally is like an airplane car instead of a propeller it's got this drill it's got this rocket cannon thing it's got these big shooters with missiles flying off of it this, this guy built his so that it's actually shooting down that's odd um, I love the little grot in the tail gun like a World War 2 plane and I love this pilot I like his head and the little scarf, like he's a flyboy who's stuck on the ground. Um, and there's 
good conversion options. Like, I converted mine. I, I made the wings a little beefier, added some extra stuff to him, changed the driver out slightly, gave him a different head, gave him, like, a chainsword arm. So there, there's cool things you can do with these kits. Um, and then different paint jobs, of course, make them look different. So I like the scrap jet, but of all of them, it's probably my least favorite just because there's just a couple things that are kind of like meh but still it's it's still a great model i really like it and then the squig buggy i know this is the buggy that kind of faded away nobody really bought this model because the rules were not very good for it and the rules are still okay like they're not terrible um i think this as a concept is just so hilarious I love squigs, and I love the craziness of orcs, and this is a, like, good old boys, redneck group of orcs that have farmed all these squigs, put them in the back of a truck, and then shoot them at enemies with an air cannon. Like, it, it's so silly, and I love it. It's like, redneck orcs with this double barrel sawed off like shooting squigs like it's just so funny i think squigs are so fun and so funny so painting this was really really fun like this little guy down here he's so cute and so grumpy Let's see if we can find some details like like the squig in there and this one's like no don't it, it, uh, it's just so funny this crazy like dog squig it's so they're so fun this is a really fun kit to build. The squig mine, the like pile of squigs in the back. <laughs> like, I, I really like this model. It's really fun to build and paint. Um, the only, only thing I don't like are these buzz saws. Because I don't see how they really work. I mean, not that they need to really for orcs, but like they either need to like extend out so that when they drive by, they'll cut things. Because right now, like nothing would be cut by them because they'd get hit by the wheels. But it's a small nitpick like I, I I honestly should have just left mine off and I probably would have liked it better and no one would really care so yeah squig buggy is great so this is the Dakajet this is an amazing kit an amazing model I think every orc player should get one of these if not two they're really good in game they're really cool orky plain like World War 2 style like P51 Mustang type thing and they're just they're just cool i just really like them they're not crazy they look like a plane you know what they do they fly around and shoot stuff and they've got a lot of great little parts that you can cannibalize and you get a lot out of this kit and you can you can make a lot of neat stuff out of these you know i've seen people use bits from this to convert you make it like an x-wing from star wars you make it you make it into kind of whatever you want it it's great like that Yes, DACA jets are amazing. Well, really quickly, so they're all pretty much the same. The Blitz Obama, just the angle on the wings change, but honestly, you can build them kind of all as whatever you want. Um, you know, it's got bombs, but it's still got the guns on it, and, like, you add guns or add whatever. You can kind of make them all into whatever you want, and no one's going to care. So that's a another freeing thing about these kits, is they all come off the same kit, essentially. You know, there's the burner bomber. He's okay, so he's got some more. He's got the scorching missiles of the burner bombs and like this turret thing instead. This is the only one that's the most different is the blasted jet. And this is just such an insane. This is such an insane vehicle. <laughs> like, it's just a flying. It's like a flying mech workshop that's also a mech gun. Like, it's got, like, this underslung, like, tractor beam thing. And these, like, rocket booster engines. A sw you know, these, like, rockets on the tips of the wings. Turret on the back. Like, it's just so weird. Like, the orc boy. I don't know if you can see this. The orc pilot is, like, got a skull cap that's, like, linked into his brain that controls the plane. Like, it's so insane. And this is where if you if you really want to go down like the mech boy route, 
Bad Moon's kind of like crazy weird mechanical route, this plane is awesome. And you can kind of count it as whatever you want. You can be like, oh, today it's a Dakajet, and no one's going to be like, oh, well, it, it's actually a Blast Bomber. she got to use it as that. It's like, eh, just use it as whatever. Like, it's a Dakajet. It has guns all over it. It shoots. Hooray. Yeah, I, I love I love the planes. They only have one dedicated transport. It's the truck. I don't particularly like this model. There are things I like about it. There are things I don't. As weird as it sounds, it's almost too cluttered. Like, it's too scrapped together. Like, the back I don't hate. Like, the back's okay, but I don't like these sort of, like, ladder things. I wish it was just closed. I don't really like the wrecking ball. The tires and stuff is fine. The the place where they drive, it's like, it's okay. There's just a lot going on. Like, when I look at this, it just looks like a big pile of metal with, with wheels which kind of is what it is, but I don't know. I feel like you could buy one of these and then buy some other vehicles and convert them. Like, I'm sure, you know, like, here's a Rhino that's converted into it. And it's like, to me, this looks just as good. Nice. Like, there's the, there's a Dark Eldar thing with parts. And, like, that's so much more interesting. So it's a great it's a great supplement kit, but as it is... I don't particularly like it, but the parts you get from it are amazing to, to make even more amazing things with it. Oh, the Stampa. For its money, 125 bucks. this thing is actually really good. It is a huge model. It has a lot of fun stuff. This was a really fun kit to build and really fun to paint. It's got a lot of little wacky details like the, the like nipple guns, the big feet the little goblins riding the missiles and like up in the canopy like it's got a lot of really cool little things the only downside to it i would say is the connectors for these weapons are really thin and kind of hard to magnetize so i magnetize mine to make it easier to fit in my car and just wherever and it really needs to be glued together but then it becomes really unwieldy to take anywhere um there's a lot of little spindly bits at the ends that are going to break off and kind of one thing that stands out is i wish it had more like the gorka knot where it could like open up or something like it's got this big hollow belly with nothing going on like it's just armor plates i feel like if this was full of like windows and grots like pointing guns out of it as like a big walking building that would be way cooler um there are some conversions where they get rid of this and they give it like a big belly gun and i think those are cool but as a standalone kit like it's it's good it's really fun but it's begging for more to be put into it. Like, it wants guns everywhere. It wants a big belly cannon. It wants to have, like, a doubled-up chainsword or, like, a double chainsword and more guns. Like, it's supposed to just be this giant, ridiculous thing. And it's it's basically like a big Gorkonaut. And almost, it basically has the same amount of guns as a Gorkonaut, which seems silly. Like, it, it should have way more to it. But having said that, I really enjoyed building and painting this kit. So even if you just have it for that, it's great. New boy, Gazgull. So he's not, I guess technically he's out. He's not his own model yet, so I, I didn't really include him. But bonus at the end here, um, this is the new Gazgull, who is like the biggest, baddest orc war boss that there is. And this model is so epic. Like... Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I'm so happy that this model exists now. Because the old Gazgull was kind of whatever. But he's huge! Like, he's bigger than a Dreadnought, almost. He's friggin' huge! Like, and I love it. I love how ridiculous this claw is, and the armor is humongous, and he's got these vents, and this giant, like, quad-barreled murderous gun. And big stompy feet. It really makes him seem like a big murderous monster. Which is what he is. Like, he's supposed to be the beast. Like, 
it's not like, oh, he's in a robot suit. It's like, you can see, like, no, he's this big. Like, this is how big he is and how scary. And it's just, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get this model. The problem is that he's connected to a bunch of models that I don't want right now. I don't need more knobs and I don't need space wolves. And that's currently the only way to get him is in that box set. So it'll probably be a while before I get one, which makes me sad, but... Ugh, Gazkol. He's back. He's so good. This is such a good model. But yeah, orcs... Orcs are amazing. They are my favorite army to build and paint and play. Just because they're so fun. Like, this is a game and a hobby for fun. And this is the fun army. This is the you-can-do-almost-anything-and-it's-not-going-to-be-wrong army. They've got some really standout models. They don't have a lot that's that bad. Just some stuff that's old. And then they've also got some amazing models. Like, some of the best models with the most personality and the most character are in this range. And... There's such a breath of fresh air from, like, painting 50 Space Marines that all need to look very similar. Or, like, 50 Necrons that are all the same. Or, like, old oh, sleek, sleek Tau that all need to look clean and nice. It's like, you can basically do anything with Orcs, and no one's going to be like, well, that doesn't make sense. Because the whole point is that they don't make sense. Um, so, yeah, I, I adore Orcs. I love the whole range. Eventually, I would like to get everything but you know money and that's that's kind of an issue as well with orcs is that it's like if you buy one you really should have three and so it it, it ups the price tag a lot but yeah orcs buy orcs 